Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Chris Titus Tech Windows Utility. So we did a video on this about a year or so ago, uh, but it looks like there have been some updates to the tool, so we figured we'd do a new video to kind of show you what's involved with it. So as you can see here, it's meant to streamline installs, debloat with tweaks, troubleshoot with config, and fix Windows updates. So there are many sections to it. So how you use it, if you scroll down here, you can run it from an administrative PowerShell window. And there's also, if you go to the releases and assets, there's a PowerShell script you could actually download if you want to do it that way. But I like to just run the command that they have here on the GitHub site. So we're going to copy this. It's already have an administrative PowerShell window open. Just paste it in there. Press enter. Okay, so it opens up the tool. So it's broken down into various categories here. Let's see if we can make it a little bigger here. All right, so the first one here, we have the install. So if you want to install any of these tools here, and there are a lot of them. All you need to do is just click on the one you want and install it. You could also click on the question mark and it'll take you to the website for that tool. And then you could install it from there or just read up on it first. And then there's an option to do upgrades or uninstall any ones that you have selected. And if you click on get installed, that'll show you what you have and already installed on your computer. So it'll look at your computer and match it up against all of these and show you which ones you already have. Then you just clear the section like that. So let's just try it out. Let's say we wanted to install the Brave browser. Select it. Then click on Install Upgrade Selected. And you can see we got something going on down here in the PowerShell window. So it also looks like it's updating WinGet, which is used to get the uh, software and install it. So if we didn't have to do this WinGet update, it'd probably be a little quicker. Okay, installation's done. And then we have our Brave browser right there. And then you can see here you also have an option if you want to use Chocolatey. Let's try this one out and we'll do Firefox this time. But now Chocolatey is not installed, so it has to be installed first. Okay, now you can see we have Firefox as well. All right, so as you can see, there are a lot of tools here that you might want to check out. So that's the install section. So now let's go to the tweaks section here. So we have some recommended selections here. So if you want to just do the standard tweaks, it'll check them like that. Minimal tweaks, clear them all. And the same thing, if you click on get install, it'll already tell you what you have on your computer. Then you have some preferences over here that you could enable or disable as needed. You could even add and activate the ultimate performance profile for power. 
And we have some advanced tweaks over here. So of course, when it comes to some of these tweaks, they may be hit or miss depending on your version of Windows if they're still going to work. So let's try the set classic right click menu. So let's go to the desktop here real quick. So right now we have the current, you know, Windows 11 right click menu where you have to go to show more options. Okay, so let's click on run the tweaks. All right, looks like it's restarting Explorer. Okay, let's try it out now. Now you can see we have the classic right-click menu here. So that worked fine. Then you could also click on the question mark here too. And that'll bring up information about the specific tweak. Okay, let's go over to config now. So if you want to install some of these additional features, you could do so. Then you have the same thing where you could click on the question mark, get some information, tells you what it's going to do. Then we have some fixes, such as the WinGet reinstall, reset your network, and so on. And then here you could just open up tools by clicking on them. So if you want to get the control panel real quick, and power, like so. All right, then we have updates. So this is used to configure how your Windows updates will work. So you have your default settings here. Then you have security recommended settings here. It tells you what it's going to do. And then you have the option to disable all updates. So this might be one that may or may not work because Windows is always trying to fight us when it comes to being able to disable updates, but you could try it. All right, and then finally we have the micro win section here. So this is used to create a debloated ISO file of Windows that you could use to install Windows. So that way after you install it, you don't have to come back and debloat it manually because it'll already be debloated and tweaked for you. So it tells you here it's going to remove telemetry and tracking, fast install using local account, no internet required for install, and do an application debloating. So it gives you some instructions here as well. All right, so that's your basic overview of the Chris Titus Tex Windows Utility. Like I said, you could either download the PowerShell file or just come here and run the command from an administrative PowerShell window and take it from there. So I'll put the link for this in the description, then you can check it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.